Hello everyone, in the previous video we talked about four major demons. The king of the demons, who is also known as Iblis, Quran describes him as Al-Waswas, means the great whisperer. Chapter 113, however, introduced three more demons. So demon number one, as I mentioned in the previous video, is Ghasiq. Demon number two is Nafathat. And demon number three is Hasid. These are the three major deputies of Iblis. Ghasiq brings about darkness, evil, ignorance, and Nafathat doesn't let things happen normally causes problems grinds things down and we talked about Hasid that brings about envy and jealousy i highly recommend you watch the previous video before watching the rest of this one i will put the link down there in the description now let's look at surat yusuf chapter number 12 of the quran and see if we can identify some of these demons together in verse number 5 of chapter 12, Jacob, or prophet Ya'qub, warns Joseph not to relate his vision, his dream to his brothers. And then right after that he says, It means that the devil is a manifest enemy, is an obvious enemy for mankind. So that's a clue for you that the devil is going to enter the story. Now verse number 8 and verse number 9 of the same chapter, they tell you how the devil enters. So this is the time when Joseph's brothers get together and say that Joseph and his brother are loved more by our father. Basically our father loves Joseph and his brother more than he loves us and he's making a mistake. What should we do? We should kill Joseph or we should cause him to be exiled to another land so that our father after Joseph could start actually loving us the way he should. So my question for you and please feel free to make comments and tell me what you think. Obviously, I am not an expert in this. So, so if you have any idea, please let me know. But I think the demon that is actually influencing this episode, this event, is actually, I think, Hasid. Hasid here is inspiring Joseph's brothers to become jealous and envious of him and insp is inspiring them to kill him and get rid of him. So let's go to the next verse. Now in this episode, verse number 23 and 24, you see the wife of the Aviz or Potiphar's wife, whose name is Zuleikha, tries to seduce Joseph. However, Joseph rejects her advances. And verse number 24 says something interesting. She desired him, and then it says that he would have also moved towards her however he saw Ra'a Burhan al he saw the evidence of his Lord whatever this evidence was we have no idea but is it possible that Joseph here actually saw the devil the actual devil the actual demon behind the scene that was trying to make this happen. And I think the demon here is actually Ghasiq. So Ghasiq is making this happen under obviously the direction of al waswas or Iblis or Lucifer. So that's what I'm thinking. If you have a different opinion, please tell me in the comments what you think. Now in verse number 32 and 33, it talks about the other women actually joining Potiphar's wife or Zuleikha and trying together to seduce Joseph. Now here again, it seems like Rasek is not 
leaving Joseph alone. Rosach here is very adamant to make this happen. So Joseph actually asks praise to Allah, to his creator, to create a situation so that the power of Rosach is basically taken away from him. And obviously Allah answers his prayer and then actually they put him in jail for a little while. Now verse number 42 of chapter 12 is, is for the time when Joseph is actually in the prison. There are two prisoners, they have a dream, they tell Joseph about it, Joseph, Joseph interprets that dream. It's a beautiful story, you have to read this story, you have to memorize this story. But while one of them is being released, Joseph actually talks to this guy and tells him that please mention me to Pharaoh that basically I'm here for no reason. I'm innocent. I've been stuck in this prison. I'm innocent. I haven't done anything. Please mention me to him and what has happened, the injustice that has happened in my case. However, the verse tells us, فَأَنْسَاهُ الشَّيْطَانُ ذِكْرَ The devil caused that man to forget mentioning Joseph to Pharaoh. and the meaning mention me to your Lord. And then right after that it says Satan, the devil, caused him to forget mentioning him to his Lord. So which demon do you think interfered here? I think it was thought. You see, he's blowing in those nuts, he's causing nuts. He doesn't he's not allowing things to move forward the way it should have been. So here, he, this guy should have gone out, should have talked to Pharaoh about it, and Pharaoh should have inquired about this scenario. However, this demon caused him to forget. He caused a knot. He didn't allow this to move forward the way it should have. So I think it was an thought. And again, I told you about an thought. An thought is a multi-headed, female demon definitely more than three heads now verse number 100 of chapter 12 this is for after everything has been resolved now joseph's parents are in egypt joseph is in very good situation and joseph is talking to his father and telling him that god that allah has done so much that my lord has done so much good things to me after the devil caused animosity between my brothers and I. Again, I think the name of this devil actually is Hasid, as I mentioned. It was Hasid that caused this animosity between the brothers. It's Hasid that chapter 113 of the Quran talks about. Now let's look at chapter 18, verse number 62 and verse number 63. It's the story of Moses. So when Moses and Joshua, they passed on, Moses said to Joshua, the verse says his attendant, bring us our early meal. Truly we have suffered much fatigue at this state of the journey. And then at this point, Joshua responds, says, did you see when we took refuge in that rock? It seems like there must have been some sort of a storm. So they went under that rock. He says, at that point, I forgot that fish and none but Satan, but the devil made me forget to tell you about it. Why? Because that fish actually even though it was a dead fish that they were about to eat, he says, no, actually that fish, what happened, that fell into the water, came alive, started swimming in the water and going its way, started and basically took its course through the sea in a marvelous way. However, Joshua forget to mention something this important to Moses. And he says, who caused him to forget? It was actually Vama and Sani who illa shaitan. It was the devil who did that. Which devil do you think it was? Again, I think it was Anna Fasat here. I think it was that multi headed female demon that is trying to cause problems and doesn't allow things to move forward. So 
I, I hope you, you like this practice. I'm not a, a demonologist or anything. But based on those verses, that's what I think. So if you think otherwise, if you have any ideas about this and in terms of which demon was involved, please uh, make uh, let me know in the comments. Peace and blessings to all of you.